What's going on traders? John with Tactical Trading here. Uh, I have a midweek update for you. I want to bring a few stocks to your attention um, and give you the reasons why. Uh, first stock, um, been a pretty crazy week, but the first stock we're looking at here is Cyberlux Corporation, CYBL. Uh, stock closed at 0 .0051. Uh, was down about 4% today. Uh, it's been holding strong uh, throughout the week. Um, take a look at the chart here. Uh, this thing looks like it's just ready to go. This thing's been stair-stepping its way up and making higher, uh, higher lows as it's been working its way up. As we see, uh, now it looks like we're making some lows here. It's been holding uh, pretty well at about the half a penny area. So uh, any, I would believe any news or anything, uh, filings or anything like that would send this uh, stock flying. Um, did get some uh, good news today. Uh, looks like the um, they have their uh, share structure. Um, the overall uh, outstanding shares was a little over five billion, but uh, seven hundred million of these shares uh, are being retired. So, um, really like uh, the moves that they're making. Um, this is actually uh, one of my tweets, so uh, we can go over it. But uh, if if you look at the company, I mean, they have go uh, government contracts with the Department of Defense, the Air Force, National Guard, uh, U.S. Army. SOCOM, the DLA, um, and uh, this is kind of what we're going to segue into uh, with a foot already in the door. Uh, who do you think will provide the lighting on a lot of these roads, highways, rails, and bridges when this White House infrastructure bill rolls out? So um, then I think these guys being with their foot in the door, um, we have a good shot here at possibly uh, getting some contracts here. Uh, if we look here at whitehouse.gov, we go to this uh, infrastructure plan. Uh, it looks as if, uh, you know, they have a bullet point um, uh, layout here of what they're looking to do with this uh, $1.2 billion uh, that they're going to be putting into the infrastructure. And if we take a look here, uh, first, let's take a look here. Uh, they say the exact number of what this uh, plan, 1.2 trillion, I said 1.2 billion. We're missing a zero there, folks, 1.2 trillion. I knew that sounded a little low, and that's why I wanted to look here. Uh, but if you look here again, uh, it says improve healthy, sustainable transportation options for millions of Americans by modernizing and expanding transit and rail networks across the country, um, repair and build roads and bridges, Build a national network of electric vehicle chargers along the highways. Electrifying thousands of school and transit buses, so uh, electric buses. They're uh, looking at doing, uh, getting rid of lead pipes, doing the uh, water systems. Uh, connect every American to reliable high-speed internet. We got another stock to look at that this might uh, have an effect on. Um, Upgrading the power infrastructure, um, so uh, we've we've got a full blown 1.2 trillion dollar uh, infrastructure plan that's going to be rolled out over the next five years, and um, I really think uh, Cyberlux uh, C Y B L has a really good chance to uh, take advantage of this because if you look go right to their website uh, right right here in the beginning uh, as a depart as a Department of Defense D O D supplier. Um, and then here it uh, talks about them uh, using their uh, portable LED lighting systems for the U.S. Air Force, the National Guard, uh, Special Operations Command, which is SOCOM, the U.S. Army, uh, Defense Logistics Agency, the DLA. Uh, they have other um, night vision and different uh, products, uh, as you can see along the top of the uh, website here. Um, different portable lighting, which I think is going to be uh, very valuable for when they're redoing railways, bridges, roads, uh, different things like that, construction crews, different things like that. They're going to need this type of lighting. And um, obviously, if this money is being doled out by the government, this company has contracts with the government, I would assume that there's going to be a nudge 
um, towards a lot of these uh, subcontracted companies that will be doing the work to be possibly purchasing their lighting through Cyberlux. So, um, I mean, I, I don't see why uh, there's a, <laughs> any, any real downside to this half a penny stock here. I want to do, uh, want to uh, bring you to the security details. Um, their authorized shares are horrible, um, absolutely horrible, twenty billion. But the good thing is they had a uh, they had a uh, shareholder Q and A and uh, did state that they will not be using any of these uh, raising these authorized shares. They plan on lowering the authorized shares. They um, also will not be diluting. So that's a good sign. Uh, as we spoke of earlier, um, they will be trimming 700 million off of this outstanding shares. Uh, there still is 1.3 uh, 1.3 billion restricted and on the un unrestricted we have 3.7 billion um hopefully they will be working on reducing it but this is not uh completely outrageous this is something uh, definitely workable in, in my opinion i mean a, a company like uh humble ran uh to almost two dollars with a share structure uh even higher than this so um not comparing the two but i'm just saying that the stocks with these share structures can run it just gets a little more, uh, you know, when you get a little higher than that into the five and seven billions, it gets a little gets a little difficult to move. But uh, really like this play going forward. Now, um, another play that I like is Viper Networks. Uh, this is a play we talked about uh, quite some time ago, back in uh, January and February. Um, we uh, Viper Networks uh, closed at point zero one. One nine uh, down eleven percent today. Um, if we if we take a look here, um, something interesting the other day uh, with Viper Networks. First off, we can look at the chart here. Um, way back in the end of January is where we uh, bought this at uh, at point zero zero two five. We were cutting uh, small amounts all the way up. We bought a rather large position and rode this thing all the way up to a seven. Uh, still, we're selling some on the way back down. Uh, even held some into this area here, but uh, you know, saw the trend with the you know with the way the chart was going. Got rid of my position, and um, yeah, I'm actually thinking about uh, reloading uh, some shares down here. Uh, as you can see on the chart, one seems to be the uh, bottom. We have a triple bottom, uh, beginning of March, uh, middle of May, and also the end of June. We have a uh, distinct triple bottom here at, uh, at right at a penny and um it looks like uh, they got some things going on here um i wanted to show you uh they had a press release just the other day um bear with me i think i'm with uh yeah here viper networks right here Viper Networks and Toledo Solar announced strategic U.S. manufacturing and partnership agreement. Um, so uh, you might want to go on here and take a look. Uh, they're also talking about the timing of this collaboration couldn't be better as the Biden administration and U.S. Congress continue to formalize the massive infrastructure bill with Smart Cities and Communities Act, focusing on technology, uh, technological advancement of smart cities, services, and the nation's infrastructure build out. So smart cities, very important here because Viper is dealing with smart cities. Um, uh, let's take a look here go to viper networks and i mean their, their their main focus on their website is smart cities and you can see they uh with the collaborations that they have the build outs the partnerships that they're doing the share reduction getting pink current um being very open obviously uh i think uh you know if, if, you, if you look at the uh it, we, we can pop back over to this uh whitehouse.gov and one of the reasons why i love the viper part of it here is build a national network of electric vehicle chargers along highways and in rural and disadvantaged communities that is huge they're talking about a half a million ev chargers um probably more i would imagine but um with viper and their uh their light pole 
now the Apollo streetlight, you can, these are, they're actually, uh, there was a tweet from Viper uh, back in, I believe it was uh, early February, where they stated that they, uh, the light poles are compatible to EV chargers. So what better way to, to, to put EV chargers along the highways like they speak of, um, yeah, to put them in the light poles. So, um, and have a dual effect. And, and not only do these light poles have EV chargers uh, along with them, um, I mean, they, they just have uh, all kind of a wide range of uh, services. Let's take a look here. LED lighting. Um, I haven't really went through this website uh, too much here. But the Apollo Smart Lights is kind of what we're uh, talking about here. They also have solar lights, different things of that nature. Um, but uh, Viper is something I definitely, definitely like uh, with this Biden plan um, going forward. Um, let's take a look here. I'll go back to OTC Markets. And one we're going to talk about quickly is another one we talked about quite some time ago, and that is TGI Solar Power Group, TSPG. Uh, TSPG, um, right around a penny right now. Uh, these guys do have a really nice share structure. If we take a look, uh, they have only about uh, six and a half million shares um, out there. Uh, you know, we made a killing on this stock back in January. Uh, if you take a look here at the chart, very similar to Viper's chart, uh, but we we got in this right around here uh, about a penny. This thing popped all the way to 18 cents, um, where we got out. We we could only get out at about eight, and um, you know, kind of kind of rode this thing over the next uh, couple weeks uh, till it kind of played itself out. But I, I think this thing is. I mean, it really doesn't have any volume right now. I'd be waiting for volume to come into this play, but um, you know. Uh, when some volume comes into this play, I think uh, we can really get a run coming. Um, bear with me one second here. And being that these guys are involved and they're building smart cities, um, these guys could be something to look at as well too. But uh, really, uh, uh, I, I think, in, in my opinion, CYBL is probably the top uh, company to take a look at if you're talking about this uh, infrastructure plan um, and uh, v, uh, Viper Networks as well, too. But uh, this is also one to keep a look at. But um, let's take a look here. Um, Want to take a look at Magic Wheels Corporation. Magic Wheels Corporation, this is one we've, we've been talking about for quite some time since... Uh, way since right there down it up right a little over a penny and um we called this out on a thursday night at a, at a 0 0.0133 and uh, that was right here before this thing took off and uh we've been on on the ride ever since all the way up today hitting highs of uh almost 25 cents in fact uh Let's see, yeah, I'm a little over 25 cents today. So um, have been shaving a little bit off on the way up, uh, holding a, a, a decent size free position to let this thing ride out and uh, love Magic Wheels. Congratulations to anybody that got in anywhere, um, you know, as we've been talking about this for the last month. Um, this thing is like, a, you know, kind of like the ride we had with ATVK. I just think this is going to turn out much, much better. Uh, love Magic Wheels still. Uh, let's go to a couple other stocks we've been uh, talking about here. We'll go to APTY. Uh, this one uh, actually got beat up pretty good today and bounced back. Uh, almost down to about uh, one, I think it went down to the one tens. Uh, came back pretty good to close about 5% down. Um, still looking rather well, the chart looks good. We still got a nice cup and handle forming on the daily. 
where I think uh, we have a chance at uh, a nice breakout over two. Uh, hopefully that breakout of the uh, 180 highs in this cup and handle breakout uh, comes simultaneously with some uh, filings dropped and some updates about the spirit coin. Uh, and then we can really get a runner. Really like this uh, APTY. And obviously if you've been on the channel, you know. Let's go to our next stock, uh, Fern Hill Corp. Uh, this thing is up really nice from our initial video on Fern Hill on Sunday. Uh, we had a video on Fern Hill. It was at 0.0048. Uh, this is a pink current company. has an excellent share structure. We'll look at the security details really quickly. Um, this thing has $1.5 billion out there in the float. This looks like it's uh, getting accumulated. Uh, this thing is up rather well. Uh, we're up... Uh, uh, 24 points uh, from from the initial call out. Uh, I think it opened about 52, so you wouldn't be able to get 48s on Monday morning, but uh, opened about 52 and has been uh, kind of grinding up ever since. So um, actually just love Fernhill Corporation. This was kind of like a bottom call uh, for me. I, if you go if you go on my Twitter and follow me at at John R. Spano 1. That's at John R. Spano 1 on Twitter. Uh, I put this uh, alert out where uh, I called the bottom bounce. I said that the resistance right here that it broke through would then become support on this downturn, and it happened to kind of come to fruition. Uh, I still uh, see this thing going much higher due to uh, July. Uh, late July updates, uh, possibly acquisitions. So uh, really like Fernhill. Uh, if the acquisitions are right, uh, I, I could see this thing easily running to three, four, five cents. Uh, so uh, I'm hanging on to this thing. This thing's easily a good uh, 30 to 60 day swing right now with APTY right now. So uh, really, really like Fernhill Corporation. Um, let's take a look at one of the only Custos that I have right now. And why did that come up? Okay, that was old. I'll say, why did that come up? A yield sign. And this is King Resources, Inc., KRFG. They are pink current. They had just gotten pink current um, just uh, last night. If you take a look at this chart, this thing is absolutely fabulous. And uh, kind of a little bit of a pullback here. If we kind of zoom in on this chart a little bit here. So we had a kind of a consolidation day after the big day two days ago, and then today a red day. But uh, I think this thing has a lot of opportunity and chance in it because uh, this is a Karen Cullen uh, custodianship. Uh, she's the one that uh, ushered in the Eilis um, merger. And uh, this ticker comes with some uh, very interesting, um, very interesting uh, tax benefits. Um, they have NOIs uh, of up to almost $18 million, which I believe give the incoming company, if I'm not mistaken, up to $3 million a year in tax credits for X amount of years, about uh, six years. Um, and also, uh, I, you know, so if a, if a company that uh, comes in is the same company as King Resources, they do get those uh, NOIs, they get those tax benefits. So uh, Karen, uh, Karen Cullen did a really good job with the Eilis merger. Uh, I see her doing a good job with this one. Uh, with the share structure of this one is absolutely fabulous. Uh, very similar to Eilis. Uh, they do have more authorized um, and uh, more outstanding, or, well, not much more outstanding, but uh, the unrestricted is uh, very similar. So uh, this thing can really get moving if they get a good, uh, if they get a good uh, company to come into this uh, pristine shell here of KRFG. Um, one other stock I want to take a look at, and uh, this thing has been getting some a lot of buzz on uh, Twitter, and this is. Uh, PBYA, Probility Media Corporation. Uh, they've gotten a lot of buzz. Uh, if we take a look at the chart, uh, first off, we might as well just take a look at the share structure first. Uh, these guys have uh, five billion uh, authorized, uh, two and a half billion outstanding with about 300 million restricted, leaving them about two and a quarter billion. <laughs> excuse me, two and a quarter billion unrestricted. They closed today at 0 0.0058 up just about a percent um but 
the news really is they have a subsidiary that uh, does training courses and the training courses that they do uh, are being utilized by Tesla among other companies. So uh, that's pretty big news. Um, very reputable big companies using their service of their subsidiary. So it should help this stock out if you take a look. This thing on that news had a huge pop up. Uh, this thing ran all the way up. Uh, where did this thing go up to? All the way up to 0.0083. Uh, you see the big wick on that candle pulled back for a, a all the way down to the 49 area. Uh, today had a nice pop pull back to close towards the lows uh, today. So um, didn't really close very strong, but the chart looks nice. Um, it, you know, still maintained a little bit of volume, although it was red volume. You see the real big green candle is the uh, strong where, you know, you see a lot, a lot more buyers than sellers. So um, I think people are believing this story. Um, and uh, in my opinion, uh, you know, it, it's worth a flyer. So uh, I grabbed a position of a couple million shares today. We're going to see uh, right at the end of the day. So I got lucky to be able to grab a little bit under 60. Um, so uh, we're going to see how this one plays out. But uh, again, um, Cyberlux, that's the one I'm really, I really have my eye on. I really think they have a shot at uh, uh, really popping. Um, really like Cyberlux. Uh, Viper and TSPG are two other ones that I'm looking at. Um, you know, uh, with a possibility of getting some attention with this infrastructure plan being rolled out. Um, and as always, you know, watching the videos over the last couple of weeks, APTY, uh, FERN, uh, two I really like, you guys know that, uh, MJWL we've been talking about for quite some time. I do think ILIS may pop back and, uh, you know, have its day. Uh, you know, we're going to make an update video on ILIS. Uh, so um, that's really all I got for you today. Um, keep an eye out uh, later in the week. We're going to have some of these other solo videos. We will have OTC Saturday this video, uh, this uh, Saturday. So that will, that will be back this Saturday. And um, we're going to do a couple of uh, solo videos on a couple of stocks I'm watching. So uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, as always, please like, please share, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below. And as always... Let's get that money, traders.